Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you sample and hold circuit using operational amplifier in great details. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. First, I'll be explaining you basics of sample and hold circuit. After that, I'll explain you sample and hold circuit using operational amplifier. Based on this circuit, first I'll explain you working of this circuit and after working, based on working, I'll be explaining you waveforms of sample and hold circuit. So let us begin this video with first agenda that is basics of sample and hold circuit. Sample and hold circuit is used in sampling process. What is sampling process? See sampling process is used to convert analog data into discrete data. So here input will be analog data and output will be discrete data. Now why should we convert analog data into discrete data? The reason is here our aim is to convert analog data into digital data. So to have digital data first we need to convert analog signal into discrete signal. Now let me explain you how this sample and hold circuit functions. Based on name itself, you can understand this. See, here we will be taking samples of input and then here that value at output is getting hold. Let me show you how. See, during TS time period, we will be giving sampling signal. So during this time interval, input that will be followed at output side. So you see during TS time period, input will be followed towards output side and during whole time period, output stays constant. During TS time period, again, input is going towards output. So input follows the output over here and during TH time period, output is getting hold by previous voltage. So that is how sample and hold circuit that functions during sample time period input will be following output. So by this trajectory you see we have input that is following output. During hold time interval output stays constant. During TS time period input is same as output. During TH time period output stays constant. Now how it will happen let us try to understand that by its circuit first. Here we have sample and hold circuit using operational amplifier where if you observe this much portion of operational amplifier, so this circuit is similar to voltage follower circuit. Let me note it down. So what is voltage follower circuit? See in voltage follower circuit, whatever input that we give it over here, that will come over here at output side, right? So to understand sample and hold circuit, we need to understand this much portion only. The reason is this much portion is voltage follower circuit where this input is similar to output over here, right? So here we need to understand how this much portion of circuit is functioning. So here when you want to understand this much portion of functioning, then in this, if you observe here, we have MOSFET over here. And this MOSFET is functioning like a switch over here. At gate terminal of this MOSFET, we provide VS signal. This VS signal is sampled signal. And at drain terminal, we give input signal. And at output, we will be having sample and hold output. Let me explain you how. See, this VS, that will be square wave. So in square wave, as if Vs is high, in that situation, here at gate, high signal will be given, means this MOSFET will be on. As if this MOSFET is on, in that case, V in that will go towards output side. So V out that will be equals to V in during Vs is equals to high. Now what will happen as if this Vs is low, means it is zero. So as if this Vs is zero, in that case, here at gate, we will be having zero potential. What it means? This MOSFET is acting like a switch and it will be off. As if this MOSFET is off, 
then v in that will not go at output but here when previously input was going towards output at that time capacitor was charged by value which was similar to v in so here across capacitor there was voltage that was vc and that was similar to v in so here vc that will be output over here that was previous voltage by which capacitor was charged here one should know see this vc voltage that cannot get discharged over here why the reason is rc time constant of discharging over here is very high so v out that will be vc voltage and this vc voltage will not get discharged it will stay constant the reason is here discharging path here discharging path is having very high time constant why the reason is here if you observe see discharging path is happening via this path so here with this op amp impedance is very high so rc time constant over here that will be very high so capacitor voltage vc that will stay constant over here so as if vs is high in that case this v in that will approaches to v out and as if vs is zero at that time output voltage will be capacitor voltage let us try to understand that now by waveforms so here in waveforms if you observe we have input signal that is happening like this and vs that is square wave that we are applying over here if you observe during this time interval during this time interval we have vs signal that is sampled time interval so during this time interval here vs is high so v out that will be same as input so you see input is happening like this so v out will be same as input over here right now as if vs is zero at that time output voltage will be capacitor voltage and that will be constant so capacitor voltage over here that was this right so during this time interval output will be constant voltage over here now again here we have vs that is high so input that will be followed over here towards output so you see output is same as input and once we have vs is equals to 0 over here there will be hold time period means output will be vc voltage that is capacitor voltage so during ts time period input is same as output and during th time period output is hold version of capacitor stored voltage right now here there is very essential question that one should understand see this vs that is having sampling frequency this vs that is having sampling frequency and that is based on this time interval t so here vs is having sampling frequency and that sampling frequency is fs and here with input maximum frequency let us say that is f in so to have proper sampling over here we should be having fs that should be at least greater than twice of f in and this is the rule that should get followed to have proper sampling see as if fs is equals to two times of f in where f in is maximum input frequency then this is nyquist rate so to have proper sampling fs should be greater than twice of f in so these are the basic fundamentals that we have it with sample and hold circuit i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video